tell you what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light <laughs> Mate, this morning. <laughs> Good morning from the top of the Orm in Landudno. Oh, I've been up about 20 minutes. Just caught a nice time lapse of the sun rising on top of the Orm there. Oh, what a good night last night. That was probably the best night's sleep in the van I've had yet. We've been on a few camps now, and that was by far the best one. The key to it, I found, I don't know if anyone else has this as well when you sleep in a van or a car, whatever it might be, but lately, I've been getting some headaches in the middle of the night, and I think it's the lack of fresh airflow. So I've cracked the two windows at the front with the wind deflectors on them, and I also, because there was no forecast rain last night, cracked the little window behind here as well, and that just provided just enough air. Oh, and I also popped one ibuprofen as well. That seems to have done the trick. Uh, but yeah, woke up fresh-headed. It feels uh, it feels good. It feels good this morning. We have got a lot planned for today. I know Steve and Matty are up with their drones. I'll let them do their thing and then uh, maybe I'll get my drone up maybe. But I think, first of all, let's poke our head out, show you what this place looks like in the morning. And I think we'll start thinking about getting some breakfast on the go. Oh. How did you sleep, mate? Oh, light in the dark. Really? Do you know what? No night eater on. Just for, yeah. just for the record, Brendan had his night eater on <laughs> several times during the evening. I only had it on until two. I had to turn it off. Me and Matty, we have to think about the environment. <laughs> have a look at this, guys. Steve's got his drone up. What an unbelievable place to wake up in the morning. And there's no wind. Very rare to be up this high and to be no wind whatsoever. You can probably hear no wind on the mic as well, which is probably uh, nice for you. You can hear me a bit clearer. If that's a positive, I don't know. But look at all that. That's the sea hitting the horizon across the cliff of the Great Ormond Land Dudno. A couple of scallywags came in last night. I don't know if I mentioned it in the previous video when we were doing the first day of the Land Dudno trip and I suppose the Welsh coast and the aqueducts and whatnot. This is what those absolute beds, should we say, left last night. Barbecue stuff, skewers everywhere. That's all I can say. Because I know for a fact that if anyone comes up here now who may have seen us come in last night and park up. There's no doubt in my mind that people in vans will be blamed for that crap. We've already seen all these no overnight parking signs popping up and it won't be long before it happens here as well. In fact, actually, I've just spotted a sign. Yeah. No overnight camping or parking. It's already happened. There's already a sign here, but uh, we don't care about that. We're respectful. We enjoyed the night, the three of us, having a chin wag, watching the sunset. That's all you need to do. Signs like these are because of people like that. If you're going to be respectful, and as long as there's no uh, enforcement and parking fines being threatened, you'll be all right. If you get moved on, you get moved on. We risked it and it paid off for us last night. Beautiful night. instant coffees, the hot chocolates are all well and good, but there's nothing like a two tea bag tea in the morning, is yeah, there? A proper absolutely. strong tea. Oh my God, that, that, that. 
that. So this is my 350 watt egg poacher slash hard boiled egg cooker. Amazon special. You can cook one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eggs if you wanted to. But we're not gonna be doing that this morning. We're gonna be poaching a couple of eggs in there. Done. Let's give it a tap. <laughs> it doesn't want to come out. Jeez, what's going on here? Are you supposed to put oil on the bottom of this plastic? I think you might have to. There we are. Just about. Mm. Bacon is very crispy. But it's nice. It'll do. I think I've lost my cooking skills. Right, I'm gonna cook my up some breakfast and we're gonna hit the road to the first location of the day. Sneak hint, I think we've got quite a few beaches on today's itinerary. So stick with me as we go exploring the Welsh coast. <laughs> He's brave. Parking on the shingle. What's this beach called? Pantry. Pantry Beach. Yeah. Or Pain Tree. Pain Tree. Pain Tree. But I like it because all of all these lovely flat stones. Yeah. Leave a comment below, what is it? Pantry or pain tree? Yeah. That's a fair bit of fishing going on, isn't it? Oh, yeah. And do you know what? While we sit here and contemplate the view, go and check this guy out on YouTube, <laughs> Matty's Adventures. Matty's Adventures. And go and give this guy a view as well. Steve's Monumental Adventures. Go have a look. You can see all this They do stuff. some great content. Yeah. I think it's about time. We tried a bit of this sea fishing. That's a big one. Right, well, our Tom Fuller didn't go down with the local fishermen, so uh, let's scarp her from the beach. We've got a few nasty looks. <laughs> Disturbing the peace at its finest. You've got to have a laugh, you've got to have a bit of fun. That's a brave man. Come on, Steve! <laughs> we just about managed to avoid a fisherman's hook up the arse, but while we're on the way to our next location, here's a quick mention from today's video sponsor. Mission Mountain. They got in touch with me. Now that the warmer weather's approaching, they said to me, would you like a camp table and chair to try out? And I said, yes. Yes, I would. They've also sent me their ultralight camping cot, which we're going to test set up today. So we can get the chair, the table and the camping cot set up and see how easy it is to put together. One of the first things that strike me about the S4 camping chair and table is how lightweight and compact they are. I decided to skip the instructions just to see how intuitive the setup was. Wow. And we're done. That didn't take long at all to put the table and chairs together. Impressed with that. And they all fold down into these neat little bags here. That table can fit in that bag, crazy. I was equally impressed with how quick and easy the A4 camping cot was to put together. Yeah, one little finger, easy, no problem. Let's see if it'll actually uh, hold up to me lying down on it, shall we? Bearing in mind, I weigh 15 and a half stone. No creaking, nothing. That's actually quite comfortable, to be fair. For how small that collapses down into and how lightweight that is, that is bloody strong. Total setup time took no longer than a couple of minutes and with how lightweight and durable the kit is, it's clear to see that a lot of thought and effort has gone into the design. For a limited time only, you can get $35 off with the code BRENDAN35 on the Mission Mountain website. There's also plenty of new deals and giveaways being run on their Facebook and Instagram pages below. 
A huge thanks to Mission Mountain for sponsoring today's video. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can check out their camping chair, their camp table, and their ultralight and portable camping cot. Now back to today's video. Right, we've officially arrived at Rill. It's gotta be at least, what, 20 years since I've been here? A long time. Already got the tunes on. Hey, love it, love it. That was Savage Gardens. <laughs> Savage Gardens, mate. Already got the vibes going in Rill. So this is Rill Beach. Who's been to Rill in recent times or even in past times? Leave a comment below. What do you think of the town? I haven't been in a very long time, but uh, yeah, tell me your experience. What do you think of Rill? Keep it, uh, keep it family friendly. <laughs> yeah. Last time I was here, I probably wouldn't have uh, said too many family friendly comments, but uh, if you've got a nice memory of Rill, Show below. All I'm going to say is, we know what you're thinking. Well, you got you got your flip flops here. You got your crocs. buckets and spades. You got yeah. your crocs. Oh, I might get a pair of crocs while I'm here. Yeah. Discount world. That sounds premium. I think the number one thing for me coming to real so far is that it brings back nostalgia from being a kid. Yeah. Because I haven't seen a Burberry cap in about 17 years. You see five in a minute of being here. It just brings back all the memories. And there's a lovely sort of smell of cannabis in the air. <laughs> After looking dubiously at some of the local chippies, we decided to grab a KFC and eat some fried chicken on the beach. Well, that's us rounded off at Rill. I do joke and uh, jest a little bit, but uh, actually Rill surprised me today. It's been quite pleasant. Nice sit on the beach, had some food, haven't we? Yeah, we couldn't find a chip shop though, could we? No, we couldn't find a decent chippy. Anyone know of a decent chippy in Rill? Leave a comment below. We saw, what was it, the, the cafe, the chip, chippy cafe? The chippy, chippy calf, calf, yeah. Didn't fancy risking that one. Um, breaking bad photos all <laughs> over the over the wall. <laughs> which made me think, what's that about? <laughs> right, let's head back to the vans and off to the next stop of the day. Now, if my dad's watching this video, do you remember this place, Dad? Prest Haven Beach Resort. Many, many years ago, we came here for a, a little holiday. We stayed in a caravan for, I think it was possibly a long weekend. Wow. Very cheap holiday. And uh, yeah, let's just say we saw a couple of fights break out between a few <laughs> holiday makers. I'm not gonna say where, what part of the UK they were from or what accents they had, but uh, leave a guess in the comments below. <laughs> We followed the trail until we got onto Talica Beach, where Steve then faced a very difficult decision. Well, we come to a crossroads. Steve decided to take the long, lonely path, and we have this, uh, what would you call this? What's it called around uh, a moat? A moat. A little moat. Now, you face a decision now, to backtrack or to risk it. To be fair, my feet need to be, to be fair, mate, the, the more we keep walking, the wider this gets. <laughs> you won't know yet. <laughs> Do you want to grab onto my 360? <laughs> There's no, 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 no. Steve, Steve. <laughs> Holy hell. Oh. <laughs> Actually, that was very quite anticlimactic, to be fair. And there we are, we've made it to the lighthouse. After a pretty slogging walk, I think we're gonna sit down, put the feet up and just chill for five. I think this will be a moment where we'll probably turn the cameras off and just have a chin wag between ourselves and just take in the view, I think. that long walk it only calls for one thing oh. <laughs> it's like a pub in it <laughs> come on gents big shout out to mike from drive by choice in shrewsbury donated these for the camp today thanks steve fucking obliterated that <laughs> Nice, nice one. Cheers, guys. 
We made it back alive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> two hours away from home. <laughs> That's nice. Nice. That's nice. Lovely. It's not bad, that. Low alcohol, but no alcohol. Yeah, 0.5%. Yeah. God, that's good. After we sat and sank the ciders, we decided to hit the road in search of ice cream. Anyway, I better tell them where we are. Have we, been, have we announced it yet? I tried to pronounce it, but it yeah. never made the cup. Des Earth. Des Earth Waterfall. You guys have all got combs. How does it compare to the land? I'd no chocolate. Oh, on par, I'd say. On par. Mm. We're like little kids on holiday, aren't we, really? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Look at the sun. That sun is hot today. It is. Well, that was a lovely pit stop at, uh, what's the name, Steve? It's called Desert. Waterfalls. There's earth waterfalls, there you go. Which is just outside <coughs> Prestatin. We're going to head back now on our way to the Shropshire Hills, find a place to cook up some dinner and fill our bellies. Look at that gorgeous sunset over the back. Absolutely beautiful. Just saying to everyone, we're chasing the sunset back in Shropshire, mate. Yeah. Beautiful sunset over the trees there. And all this walking today has got my appetite up. Are you yeah. hungry? Do you know what? It feels so good to be home, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? Yeah. No better place, mate, to cook up the last meal of the camp. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get in. Okay, for tonight's dinner, we have a special Ridge Monkey pizza. Of course we do. <laughs> of course we do. Because I have missed cooking one of these and I've missed even more eating one. So, I brought some bacon and ham yesterday from the local butchers in Shrewsbury Market Hall uh, in last week's video, you'll have known this. So I'm gonna actually have a ham and cheese pizza in the back of the van here, cooking, of course, Aldi special pizza dough. Well, actually, every, everything's from Aldi, so. <laughs> what are the elements to tonight's sauce? So we've got our passata. Let's give that a pop. We're gonna add a healthy portion of basil and oregano passata. So a little bit of a squirt of the old puree. I'll show you, see? Give it a proper, proper squidge down. Let's get some proper weight on there. We're just gonna literally start cooking the one side. Let's give it a flip. If I can ask you, Matty, to... Sure. Just uh, shine it on there. That's all we need. Just enough to give it some flavor. Enough cheese for you? Yep, that's good for me. Bit of ham there. Oh, that looks beautiful, that does. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, ham and cheese, Ridge Monkey Pizza. Oh, it's lovely. Really? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Oh, it's lovely. We're ready. Let's give this baby a bite. The first pizza in the van. It's a big milestone. It's a big moment, isn't it? Wow. That's incredible. If I do say so myself, <laughs> that is absolutely delicious. If you guys have got a Ridge Monkey, or any kind of like double-sided frying pan. As I mentioned, I'm not sponsored by Ridge Monkey. I should be, but I'm not. Um, <laughs> next sponsor. The yeah, next yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> you desperately need to try pizza in it. This is absolutely delicious. Look, I'm gonna take you to the rest of this and have my dinner and probably uh, have a little chin wag with you for a few minutes yep. and then we'll head home. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Au revoir. See you later.